Our first guest tonight must be one of the bravest people we've had on the show in the past year. She's one of Scotland's best singer-songwriters, but now she's risking it all to do a duet with the First Minister. <laughs> Sandy Tom, welcome to the 5.30 show. Explain it all. Why? Well, um, on this tour that I have, it starts actually on Friday. Um, every night I have a different guest with me, and they're all more so musicians than... One of them's actually my dad, you know, so it's a real kind of eclectic mix and there's actually one person who's very famous that I can't mention. Um, and yeah, one of them's the First Minister and he's actually going to do the, one of the nights I'm performing in Banff because Banff is where I was born mm -hmm. and he's obviously quite important to the people of Banff, which includes a lot of my relatives, my granny, my auntie Jessie, who's a hundred, so... <gasps> So they're all going to be there, and it's a big moment for them as well because they love him. You Do you know, know so. that he can sing? I mean, has there been any rehearsals yet? Or? He, he always he's partial to a tune. I've, I've kind of when I've in the past when I've done songs and he's been there, I always hear him humming away. He is a big fan though, isn't he? Because he actually gave your CD to Sean Connery as a present. Yes, yes, he did. Um, which is which is very cool. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool to be a Sean Connery's Christmas present. So. Well, we'll be talking more about uh, your homecoming tour in just a moment. Sandy performed at the big event to kick off that uh, homecoming year on Saturday night down in Ayrshire. With all the details, here's Jerry. Brigadoon was glowing and the fireworks were exploding. He may be 250 years old, but Robert Burns knew how to party. And this gathering for the launch of the homecoming year were at his home to celebrate the life of the great Scottish bard. Music, poetry and drama, not to mention plenty of food and drink were the order of the day. And of course the First Minister with his own tribute to the man from Alloway. What we are celebrating is the life and work of the, in my opinion, the greatest Scot of all time. A life which was short but whose legacy it spans the centuries. Uh, life whose work gave uh, voice to the common man and captured the spirit of the Scottish nation. A Democrat, a patriot, a ploughman, a poet, a totally hopeless romantic. Robert Burns was many things. Uh, but he was a man uh, for all that. Nell Kilpatrick, sun warmed and stubbed, he toiled in the harvest field. Oh, and she was right for the harvesting. Oh, she gave me my look back now. Are you going to steer my future? <laughs> I can do more than that for you. <laughs> Some great music getting homecoming underway on Saturday night down in Ayrshire. We saw you there, Sandy. You're going to sing for us later in the programme. But how did you get involved in all of this? I mean, were you into Burns before this year kicked off? I, I, I think I wasn't... I don't think I paid enough attention to Burns until this came about. And I suppose that kick-started my, um, my interest in him. And like I was saying, uh, you know, there's so many poets that are held in high regard, you know, like Byron. And, but yet, um, I think Burns should be more globally... 
acclaimed, you know. And, and, and when I've, especially singing that song, you know, I had to study the words and really think about what it was about. And mm. um, I think if he were alive today, he would be one of the best songwriters in the world, you know. He'd be having number one hits all yeah, over the place. He'd be doing MySpace page, wouldn't he? He would have a MySpace and everything, yeah. <laughs> well, we saw you recording the, the Homecoming advert that's on the television. You said that was quite an emotional experience for you. It was. I think it was just... Um, you know, being associated with the people that were also on the advert as well as myself, like, you know, Sir Sean and Lily, who's a lovely lady, and Eddie, who's a lovely lady, and Amy, who I love, and it was just, um, it was a real honour, you know, and I thought, I felt really proud of it, so yeah, it was a little bit of a lump in the throat. Okay, so burns aside, um, what else is happening with you this year? Last year you had an album out and you said at the time that you felt it was a bit rushed what happened with that album. What's, yeah, what's I, happening now? Well, I, the, good, the good thing is now is that the third album, which um, I'm sort of working on in dribs and drabs, you know, during this whole kind of tour and everything that's going on, is coming together in a, in a nice little way. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to take my time over this one. And, uh, and is it a very similar flavour to the last two? I really want to try and do something that's... Uh, it's, it sort of pushes the boundaries a little bit. So I'm, I really want to try and I mean, I've, I've been listening to a lot of world music, a lot of kind of um, Paul Simon and Neat and Sonny and things like this, and I, I really want to to try and maybe just incorporate something really fresh into the sound. So well, maybe Alex Salmond will be the answer, you know? <laughs> Pushing <laughs> the boundaries there, something. I tell you, girl. <laughs> we'll get him on some tambourine <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Sandy Thomas, a real pleasure to see you today. Thanks Thank very much you. indeed Thank for coming in. And uh, as I say, a really special performance from Sandy coming up at the end of the programme tonight. Don't miss it. We leave you tonight with a real musical treat as the year of homecoming gets underway. Here's Sandy Tom with Caledonia. Some